Welcome back everyone. In, this is the second part of our Java restaurant point of service program and in this video we are going to start the menu class and I am going to use the menu from Tom Kuhn which is a noodle bar in Ann Harbor, Michigan and you can find a number of different restaurants of your favorite one in your area um, if you click on the menu for your restaurant you should get a choice of um, items that you can order for this restaurant we can if we look at the menu we can order appetizers pho ramen udon and cold noodles you could make the programming choice to have a separate category for each of these noodles but you could also just put them all in one category for noodles there are rice dishes and I believe that's pronounced Donburi. There's also stir fry. And so these items could be placed in maybe a main dishes category, or you could have separate categories for each of these. Um, it depends on how granular you want to be. There are also drinks. And um, to make it school appropriate, of course, you don't want to use alcohol, but we can substitute these for um, soda if you wish uh, all right so of course your menus will be different um, and you can use any menu that you like and this is just one example all right so let's get started with our menu class so we're going to do file new java class Okay, sorry. File new. And we're going to name it uh, menu. Must have been. technical error here. All right, we're going to start a new class. And we're going to say public class menu. And if you had any problems in the last one, I know I forgot to mention that you should debug your class and run it to test it and I did that forgot to do that in the last video when I ran mine I had one spelling error and I had forgotten a curly brace in the two string method so that should, should give you a hint on um, debugging the last class if you had an issue alright back to the menu class so we are um, a restaurant might have a number of items in each category and we don't know how many of those items might be. So an array list is appropriate data structure to store food items because they um, array lists can grow and shrink by the, however many items we want to put in them. And we're going to actually keep instances of the item class in these array lists. So we'll let's set up an array list for each category. So again, we have our fields our constructors and our assessors and mutators and our two string and in the fields we're going to write an array list of type item and we're going to call it appetizers And then we'll need one for noodles. So we'll say private array list item noodles. And I'm going to group all of those three different types of noodles together in one category. And then we'll do one. Uh, 
for our main dishes. And one for the drinks. Okay, so and then in our constructor, we just do public menu. And when I construct the menu, I want to populate it. So what I'm going to do is um, add a method called populate menu. And then down in my methods category, I'm going to write the method populate menu. So public void populate menu. And my method's going to be void because I'm not returning anything. All I'm doing is populating the menu when I create an instance of the menu. So now I'm going to add all of my items in my categories. So I'll have an appetizer I'll have appetizers, I'll have a bunch of noodles, dishes, I'll have a bunch of main dishes, other than noodles, and I'm going to have a bunch of drinks. Now in order to add something to the array, we are going to say appetizers dot add and since I'm adding a class I'm going to of type item I'm going to say new item and one of my constructors um, allowed me to add um, had three categories a name a category and uh, a price so I'm going to say pork buns So my alarm went off there for my calendar, but we're back. So now we're going to add pork buns and appetizers and a price. So we have two strings and um, a price and a double. And if you go back to your item class, you can see here that you have a constructor that includes the name, the category, and the price. So when we add prices, we need to follow that construct of name, category, and price. So let's do one more. Appetizers. Add new item. Dumplings. Appetizers. And this will be three. And I forgot some quotes here. and then I am going to let you fill all those in for your menu and I will come going to do a couple of noodles and a couple of dishes and drinks so you can see how those are done and then um, we'll come back in the next video with our menu filled in and we'll continue with the rest of the class so let me add a couple of noodle dishes here so I'm going to say noodles dot add and again I'm adding a new cl item class I'm going to say foe basic and it's going to be noodles and it's nine dollars and then I'm going to do noodles dot add new item and we're going to do foe deluxe in case you didn't know what foe is it's a Vietnamese soup and it's really good. And it's a noodles. 
and it's eleven dollars and then we will go ahead and add missing a parentheses here that's why I ended up in the middle uh, the cursor did ended up in the middle of the next line usually an indicator that you forgot another closed parentheses let's add a couple main dishes so we'll say main dot add new item and this is B bim bop and this is a rice dish and it's nine dollars and main dot add new item curry rice it's a rice dish and it is ten dollars and then let's go ahead and add a couple of drinks um, so we'll say drinks dot add new item water drinks and it's water is free and then we'll say drinks dot add new item Sapiro it's in the drinks category and it's seven dollars and now we have um, I'm sorry it's four dollars and we have a 12 ounce version of it so notice that we're using the other constructor where we need a name a category a price and a size and that is going to be it for our menu and when we oh, I'm going to save here I'm going to save my menu and I'm going to go ahead and debug and check for any errors and so you can see that I have um, an error cannot find class array list so that means I forgot to import the array list so we're going to up go to the top here and say import java.util. Array list. Let's compile again. And we have no syntactical errors. And that's it for this session. And we'll come back with the menu filled in and continue with our menu class. So, between, I would like you to stop the video and fill in your menu before starting the next video. See you next time. Bye.